Hey guys, it's John with the FJ Cruiser channel. Um, a while back I did a video on building this box um, for my FJ. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it right here. And so basically I've gotten some um, inquiries about it. Um, people wanted to know if I've done anything to it and or give an update on it. Um, so kind of what I wanted to do is two things in one. Uh, I wanted to do a few extra things to it. So um, I guess I'll take this opportunity to, um, you know, kind of work on it and make this the update of the status of the, the or I guess the current status of my box. Um, so I've been kind of real happy with it. Um, one thing I've noticed was that when I put some things up here on to go camping and it kind of slides around a little bit too much, I've got a net that goes over it and I'll show you um, when I put everything back in the FJ, but even with the net, it still kind of slides around a little bit in there. So what I want to do is I want to use this uh, 3M Super 77 glue and I'm going to glue uh, a piece of yoga mat. So I bought, you know, fairly inexpensive $10 yoga mat and I want to put, you know, glue that on top of there. I think it's going to be uh, very tacky and, and things won't slide around. The downfall is yoga mat is a little fragile. So I'm, I have to make sure that I don't put things that are too abrasive on it, I guess, to kind of scratch it and tear it up. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll peel it off and I'll find something else. But for now, I just wanted to put something on there to um, just keep things from sliding around. So let me go continue with this project. And when I'm through with it, I'll give you a final update of all the modifications I've added to it. So hope you enjoy. So I've gone ahead and sprayed a good layer of that um, glue on here. And also I put a good layer of glue on the bottom side of the yoga mat. And I guess the, you just let it sit for five minutes or so until it gets real tacky. And then when you lay it on there, it basically bonds um, pretty good. All right, so I got the top of the yoga mat glued on there. Um, I want, just wanted to show a few things on the inside here. Um, so basically I ran um, a power cable back here and I put a little um, removable connector so that you know I can disconnect and you know remove the box and that plug right there is what came with my ARB refrigerator um, so the way the box is kind of stabilized in here is I've got these little screws that I bought and it's basically what I did is remove the latch that was under here and, and I use the, the same hole that's threaded so these um, bolts pretty much hold the front and then I have these adjustable um, latches that uh, basically one goes on on this side. I put a I put the actual the, the anchor mount that was up front here that I removed. I just attach that to there, so I have um, basically something like this. And then I'm able to, you know, tighten it really good. So I, I basically tighten it from on both sides in the back. Just that keeps it from it from coming forward. And these bolts up here just kind of keep it secure. So I haven't had any problems with it moving around. So it's a pretty stable system just with that. Um, and then when I put the drawers and my slider over here, I'll show a couple other things. Okay, so I put my, my slider drawer in there. So this is a slider drawer I made. This is where my ARB cooler goes on top of um, these are I think 100 pound rated rails um, they're not the nicest ones in a, in a world they're not self-locking I think they make some but it was super expensive and I figured let me just try this first to see if I can live with it before I spend you know a ton of money on just sliders for the drawers um, so it's not too fancy I basically just put a latch here in the front and where I latch the cooler onto. Um, it stays put for the most part. Uh, the only issue is, I guess, if I'm a little bit slanted. Um, it's not too bad if I'm slanted a little bit this way because the kind of the cooler kind of comes out and stays up. If I'm slanted a little bit forward, then it's, you know, it is kind of a pain to reach in here and the cooler always wants to slide forward. So I need to figure out something to a little pin or something to stick through there just to keep it you know on the uh, pulled out position um, but and as far as um, there's still plenty of room back there to keep some extra stuff like I keep a 
a, a, a nicer uh, tire wrench, uh, a triangle back there, um, a toe strap. I keep it back there and the extra cable for the ARB cooler if I ever go somewhere like traveling and I want to pull it inside the hotel room to let it run all night um, with food and stuff in it. Um, that's for the 120 volt connection. So I just always keep that back there. Um, so it's got plenty of room because the drawers don't go all the way back that far. I mean, it goes as far back as, uh, as the cabinet. So there's still a little bit of room back there for extra stuff that you just don't use all the time. Like if I have a flat tire, I guess, um, I'm, you know, I, I could always just pull the drawer out or get back there and access some things that, um, don't need to be accessed all the time. So, um, and as far as the way the drawer it goes, I put some latches on here. So let me slide one of the drawers in here and I'll show you, um, a little bit how the system works. All right. So I went ahead and, and put my ARB refrigerator in here and the drawers. Basically what I did is I found these, I think these are Marine latches and they work really good. So they're, they're locking latches. Um, I went ahead and put a little bit of remaining yoga mat and glued it to the bottom of here. So, cause sometimes things are just plopping around and just makes, it's a little noisy. So let's see if this helps mitigate some of that noise. But um, the drawers just, and basically the latches come with these little metal um, pieces that you, I just bolted it on there and it, it, it locks in place pretty good. I guess if you don't have anything extremely heavy, I don't know how durable these latches are because it is just plastic on the inside. Um, but they latch pretty good. I haven't had a problem with the, the drawers opening up even full of camping equipment. I guess if I haven't put anything, you know, in excess of 25 or 30 pounds in there, but um, just light camping gear, I haven't had any problems. Same thing with the top and just got a little bit of junk on in this drawer, but um, they latch and they stay closed. Um, and I think that's it. The, the one thing I'm, I may do is I built these drawers, the bottom one a little bit bigger. Um, and I didn't use a real deep um, size here for the cabinet. So what I may do is just build a little frame. Um, Cause some things when I put to the side, it may, it tries to tip over. So if I try to put um, like maybe a cutting board or something when I go camping, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of elevate, make a little rail, um, finish that off. But other than that, I think it's been pretty successful. I haven't had any problems with too much stuff in there falling over. So um that's kind of the update that i have for you guys um the mats stuck on there pretty good we'll see how good that lasts uh the arb refrigerator basically slides right out that's as far as it comes out um there's a little bit i've left a little bit more room on on this side for the ventilation but this side there's ventilation too and the way the drawer system is, there's a hole back there, so there's a little extra air. I may put a fan eventually back there because in the middle of the summer, I'm not sure if it's getting enough, you know, cool air. So I haven't had a problem yet, but that's just something uh, I've got in the back of my mind. If I do have a problem with the refrigerator not cooling or something going wrong with it, I may cut a hole there and kind of draw in some fresh air. Um, but it's not sealed, so it should get some air, but. I don't know. That's just something that it's, uh, it's in the back of my mind. So, and something for you to think about if you do something similar. So, um, anyway, guys, that's, that's all I've got to say about this project right now. Um, if I do anything different, uh, I'll shoot an update, but, um, hopefully, uh, this will satisfy some people that wanted to see an update of the box and kind of the status of it. So, if you like this video, just um, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.